Hello team, Rafa here. A quick video on how to set up CallRail for tracking for our uh, clients. CallRail is an amazing tool that we use to, to track one of the most important conversion points that there are, which is our phone calls. P uh, depending on the business, people prefer to pick up the phone and call. And this data used to not be available to us. Uh, a lot of people manage campaigns without having this information. And CallRail <clears throat> make this, makes this information re readily easy for us to, to create, to have. Uh, it'll tell us the source, the keyword, when, the who, the how, the what. So we want this. We want to continue, We want to be able to set that up when we're managing search marketing campaigns or any other type of lead generation campaign, where phone calls are a potential call to action. All right. So I'm inside CallRail. Sometimes, like you'll see, I have several clients under my account. Um, if they're a current client that we are managing that we're on retainer, we'll go ahead and set it up for them under our account. And, and so I'm going to come in here and add company, company name, and zone. Those time zones are important. Phone number. And I'm going to grab it straight from their, from their website right now. Okay. This is going to be an issue later for the phone swapping because they have their number in an image instead of text. Um, I'm going to log into their website and see how that all works. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. It is, and what I mean is not image versus text. Look, I can't select it. It's not text. That means the search engines aren't reading it. It means it's not an actual code. It's an image. So I can't swap it out with our, with our tracking number over here. And this is something that I'll solve later. So I'm going to grab that number, 770 add company, and create phone number, and I'm going to say online, because this is going to be for my website, yes, on my website. Yes, track each visit. I want to know everything that happens. Yes, the number. Yes, this looks all good. Select the, the tracking code. I want to track all website visitors. Choose uh, the phone number. 770, it's the area code. I'll go back. Yes, just pick numbers local for me from the 770. Thank you. Uh, then uh, next other option, whisper message. N this means that when it, it calls, it says, uh, it tells you, the one that's picking up the phone, where the phone's coming from, a source, like call from, website. I haven't set it up for one for mine. It's very confusing. Don't set it up. Record calls, yes, record calls, but do not go ahead and delete this out. Um, and then we're going to hit activate tracking codes. And that's it. Go to activity dashboard. And now we've created um, call rail for our account. But when we set up call rail, there are a couple integrations that we're going to need to do, and I'm going to set those up in different videos. Uh, one is uh, adding the, the – actually, let's go ahead and finish one now. So we've set up CallRail, but we're not done yet. We need to add the CallRail integration to our website. So this dynamic number insertion, we have to put your code snippet – this guy into the tracking script similar to the script that we have for Google Analytics. So if you saw that video, you'll remember that I started a notebook for my tracking codes, Google Anal Analytics. And now I have a call rail tracking code. 
these guys, uh, for at least for my main sites that I'm doing a lot of work on, I'm I put all these into Google Tag Manager, Tag Manager, and I'll cover that in a different video. Um, but for small clients that may not need that level of complexity, I'll just put the script straight onto their sites. So that was a quick video on setting up CallRail for a client, setting up a number, and capturing that script to go into the tracking codes notebook. Thank you very much.